Okay, guys, so I try to put you right on top of my area, my station, where I'm doing my simple uh, salad here, my lemon, tomato, cucumber salad. So I just want to keep you focused here so you can see me quickly do this before I do the plating. So <laughs> I'm way up here and you're way down here. All right, so the first thing I do, of course, I do the lemon first. And the reason why I do the lemon first is because uh, that has a bittersweet taste. So I want to make sure I get that out of the way. So we're going to put a piece of cooking paper right into the drainer. Uh, so this way I can catch all that flavor and then drain some of it, of course. All right. So the first thing I do, okay. So here you have the lemon. I cut both sides. Very pretty. So you're going to have a shape like this. All right. And I toss those, of course. All right. And then I go right in the middle. Then I go on the side. So you're going to have four pieces just like this. Okay. And all this lemon does is, is give a great flavor to, um, to the salad. Okay. And it's real healthy for you. Hel lemon is absolutely good for you guys. Um, I use a lot of lemon in my salads, by the way. Okay, so you want to do little pieces like this, pretty pieces. Okay, that's what they're going to look like. All right, and I just toss them to the side. Now, I'm doing a nice size uh, salad, nothing really big, just a nice size. Um, so that way I have some in the refrigerator. So when I feel like just um, eating a little bit of a salad on the side with a sandwich or whatever I do during uh, my lunch or if a day I'm not cooking, I have something in the refrigerator fresh. So that is my whole point of always doing a little extra to keep in the refrigerator. So there you have it. Again, pieces, beautiful, just like this. All right, and all those juices are beautiful. Okay, so that's the first thing I throw on my um, on my little cooking paper into my drainer. So it's going to look like that. Next, I do my cucumber. Okay, and this is only a half a cucumber. Super delicious. One of my favorite things that I love. All right, so we're going to slice it right in the middle. Okay. And you can take the skin off if you like. I like to keep the skin on. I like the crunch. Sometimes I do peel the skin off depending on what I'm doing. So I'm going to do long slices like this. And plus, it looks really pretty for presentation as well. Beautiful colors are always really nice to have on a plate. Okay. So there you have it. You want to do nice sizes just like that. And again, I'll show you. Just like the lemon sizes, you want to keep everything the same size, okay? All right. So again, long slices. Okay, and then just chop away. Just like that, toss it to the side. And you got yourself some fresh, beautiful cucumber. Look at that, y'all. And you just throw it right in with that lemon. All together. They're all going to be loving each other together in this wonderful, delicious, healthy salad. All right. So up next is Mr. Tomato. Say hi. <laughs> all right. And this is just a regular tomato. You can use any tomato for this dish. It doesn't matter. Okay. Whatever tomato you prefer. It's not going to make a difference. Okay, again, you're going to do dices. Very simple dices. You want to keep everything the same as I mentioned before, okay? Just like that. Toss to the side. Yeah, because sometimes I have those days where I'm just running around, you know, grabbing my kids, going to therapy, paying bills, running to the store, running to the grocery store, running to Walmart, uh, getting cleaning supplies, all that good stuff. So 
sometimes I love doing this because when I do this, I can just grab a cup, fill it up, put a spoon in it, and go. So that's what I love most about when I do salads. And you're not going to mess up your car or anything like that. Just keep it in a cup. Well, me, I'm picky. But, you know, you have those cup holders, so it makes it very easy to just put that salad in a cup right there with a spoon. And that's how this girl gets down. <laughs> All right. So up next, what I do is, okay, so this is done. This is done. This is what our, our, our drainer and our cooking paper. I'm about to show you in a minute. Let me just wash my hands. Okay, and I also need a spoon. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like, all mixed up. There's a lot of juices in there, beautiful. So I just give it a nice little toss. Okay, because I wanna make sure all them lemon flavors get in there, along with the cucumber and the tomato, before I zip the paper off in the sink. So give me one second, but look at that, how beautiful. Absolutely delicious. All right, so all I'm doing over here, y'all, is just letting this drain for about 60 seconds, 30 seconds. If you shake it, it's even faster. And there is a lot of juices in there because you want to get some of that lemon flavor out. You want just enough. All right. So that's all I did is just drain it. And it's in a little perfect little bowl. Look at that. So pretty. Now, of course, you do not eat the lemon. We know that. You don't eat the lemon. It's only for flavor, for the goodness, for the salad and the healthiness. All right, so there you have it. Okay, hopefully you can still see. Yep, okay, perfect. Okay, so what I do next, as I told you before, I have mayo, I have olives, I have chives, and I have paprika. This is what I have here. So the next thing I do is I add one scoop of mayo right on top so I would say like two tablespoons okay all right that's it that's all you need for this amount um, so you know there you go and you just want to mix 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 and these are simple ingredients again to die for something on the side with that beautiful white rice that bacalao just like I said you, and the lemons pretty much stand out. You could see the pieces. That's why I don't do them too little. You could see those pieces sticking right out in the salad. So you make sure you don't, you know, you go around them when you eat this dish. That's what I do. But you want to leave the lemon in because it, it really does a good flavor, citrus flavor to the salad. So and that's why I call it my tomato cucumber lemon salad. And I've done this before in other... Uh, and other dishes as well. If you go on any of my videos, you will check me out with doing lemon and cucumber and other ways, other ingredients. Okay, now you don't wanna put the juice, the olives to the juice in this, absolutely not. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna grab a fork and just do one little tablespoon of that, just one. That's it, let me add a little bit more. And do the olives that have the little red pepimientos because it does make a difference. All right, y'all. Okay, and you just mix that up as well. So pretty. And that just gives it a nice balance with the lemon. It gives it a little salt taste along with that lemon, citrus flavor, along with that tomato and them cucumbers, super delicious. Okay, paprika. I use this because it gives it a nice uh, spunk, a nice uh, spicy little taste. You don't want to use a lot. You're going to do one and a half. You're going to do a half a, a tablespoon. That's it. That's all. And of course, chives. You can add chives. Whatever you choose to add for garnish is perfectly fine. But chives is the way to go, y'all. This is what I like. Beautiful. All right. Now, take a look at that. So beautiful on the side. Just watch out for that lemon. <laughs> you don't get a pop of that lemon in your mouth. But like I said, I don't take the lemons out. I leave them pieces in because it's so beautiful. Um, the you know coloring in this salad makes it look pop out really nicely. And like I said, it gives a nice citrus 
uh, taste to this salad as well. So that's why I leave the lemon in. And they, you can see them. They're perfectly there. You just go around them. And that's pretty much it. So there you have it. That is my salad on the side to go with this beautiful white rice. That's done. Along with the bacalao. All waiting there just to join in with this fella over here. All right, so there you have it. So beautiful. Up next, I'm going to do the plating, guys, so don't miss it. And again, thanks for watching. You guys are the best. After the plating, I will do that thought for the day. And I'm actually going to use my tea again because those little thoughts, I just adore them. They're just perfect for days like this. Something quick.